Good morning, friends. Hi, how's it going? How are you today? For those of you new here, call me Donna. That is my name. And I just want to thank every single one of you for being here. If you're looking for colorful, grungy, princess eye looks and general makeup chatter, you have found the right place. I am so happy that you found me and I am happy to have you here. I hope that you'll want to stick around. Today we're doing the next installment in my palette roulette series and for my palette roulette series I do let a nap, choose a palette that I utilize throughout the week, I come back to you, I talk to you about said palette, my experiences with said palette, show you some eye looks in here, I also show you some live swatches and then we pick a new palette. Today's palette that we're going to be talking about is this guy right here. This is the Sigma Untamed palette and this was a beaut. So I am doing this video a day early because my man thinks that we need to go camping tomorrow. Do I look like I camp? I am not thrilled, but that is what we are doing because you do these things for people that you love. I might end up finding a hotel. I have to be honest, I am not a camper. We don't camp around here. No. So with that said, I got one day's less use out of this than I typically do with the Palette Roulette palette that I have. However, I have used this in a video in which I did a collab with my friend Anna right after we both got these palettes, and I will go ahead and link that up in the cards for you. I did come up with a different eye look then than what I have to show you throughout this video, so I think it'll be awesome for you guys to go watch that video also because I actually physically put this palette on my eyes in front of you. I do it like very tutorial-esque, so if you're looking for a tutorial with this palette, that would be a great video for you to go watch. And um, this is a $49 palette. Again, it's by Sigma Beauty and it does come in at 4.5 stars on Sigma, but there are only four reviews on Sigma for this palette. Um, on Beauty Bay, it comes in at a straight up five stars, but there are also only nine, uh, nine reviews of this palette on that page. There's 0.9 ounces of product in here, which means each one of the 14 pans has 0 0.064 ounces of product per pan. And this did launch in, I think, September? August or September, I think. Um, it was given out in PR in August. People started reviewing it in August, and then you actually could phys physically purchase it either late August or early September is what I think happened. This is what the palette looks like. It is a really pretty like matte black cardboard packaging and this zebra print on it is actually like felt and very tactile and very awesome and then it just says Sigma Untamed on it. The back of the palette does look like this. I appreciate the back of this palette mostly because not only does it have the shade names on it but it gives you the shade names and the shades and the palette box also does the same thing. In addition to that, it just gives you like shelf life, which is 12 months for this palette, and then some information on Sigma, right? Not unlike many other palettes. When you open it up, it does have one of these little plastic guys on here. I love their plastic guys because they're a lot like the Huda Beauty ones that are, you know, detailed a lot more than just a clear piece of plastic that you just want to toss in the trash. And then it does have a nice size mirror. What I also love about their palettes is when you open it up, you can immediately flip it back. Like you're not like breaking your palette to put it towards the back. And then this is what the palette looks like. You can see it did come with a brush and I'll show you the brush in just a minute, but there are 14 shades in here. This is mostly a cool toned or leaning cool toned palette. Although there is a lot more warm in here than you would think just by looking at it. The the formulas are matte, shimmer, and metallic in here. It is cruelty-free. It is lactose-free. I remember in my first video going, what does that even mean? It is gluten-free, and it comes with a brush, like I said. And the formula in this palette is free of 70-plus harsh chemicals that many other palettes might have in them. So this is a 
one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest, formulation and eyeshadows out there, which I actually learned from watching a YouTube video by that girl Shay when the palette first came out. So I will link her video on this palette down in my description box as well. She is phenomenal as a creator on this platform, and you should go watch her video as well. There are eight matte shades in here, two shimmer and four metallics, and uh, my experience with this is that it performs really well. Like all of these shadows in here are hugely pigmented. You're going to pretty much get everything in here as it is in the pan. It's going to translate on your eyes. What I also liked about this palette is it encouraged me to use color combinations that I haven't really thought about using. Like today's eye look is purple and red. Like I never would have prior to utilizing this palette really thought to put purple and red together. But this red right here, or this isn't a red, this purple right here, when you start to blend it out, it actually kind of shifts to this like red tone. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what this will look like with a red like crease and upper brow bone area. And so I put the two colors together. So I've got this color and this color on my eyes. And these are the only two colors on my eyes today. And I quite like it. I quite like this look. The shades in this palette lend to soft eye looks, but they also lend to super sultry, like deep, sexy eye looks. You can get that if you want out of this palette, just like you can get like a romanticized like almost vintage I look out of it. The shimmers and the metallics in here I feel like work best wet, which isn't a shock to me. Most of the metallics and the shimmers in my collection I wet anyways, but through these palette roulettes I like to try them dry and wet. I will tell you this purple one is almost non-existent on your eyes if you don't wet them first. Um, this eye look today also I am not wearing a primer underneath it so you can see like the pigmentation and the stay power and the everything is still really vibrant so this does perform well with or without a primer. I think also that the longevity of the shadows isn't impacted on whether you have a primer or not. What I love too about this palette is you do have your light tone and your black as well. Um, there are plenty of deepening up shades in this palette, but there's also plenty of light shades in this palette. And I think that it's got a great mix of shimmers to mattes. So there's eight mattes and six shimmer, shimmery metallic sparkly shades. So there's a good ratio there. Uh, there was no creasing or fading with the, with this palette at all that I noticed, at least at that eight hour mark. I can't really speak to beyond that because I didn't really wear my shadows for very long while I had this palette going on my eyes this week. So it lasts at least eight hours without creasing and fading. So it's going to get you through your work day for sure. And this is definitely a palette that can lean very work appropriate. So I think that that's great that it does that. It's very versatile, even though it doesn't like look like it is. It looks like it could be, you know, subculture 2.0, but it's, it's very nice. It's a very, very nice formula. And if you love the color story and the grunginess of subculture, but hated the formulation, you would love this palette because the formula is completely different, a lot easier to work with. It blends super well. Even the dark, dark green in here, even this shade right here is an amazingly blendable green and you don't get that with those grungy olive greens these days. Most of the time any green really is super hard to blend. It becomes very patchy and um, it's just a mess. This one isn't. I loved this one. I created a really beautiful halo eye with that green. I just fell in love with that green. I wanted to wear it all the time. It was in at least two of the eye looks that you're going to see pictures of. There was a couple eye looks that I did that I didn't get pictures of because I just simply forgot. But one was a really like simple, really simple look with this in the crease and then this all over my lid. And it was a beautiful eye look. I just forgot to get a picture of it. Such a beautiful, simple eye look that turned out so, so nice. The other one wasn't exactly my favorite, to be honest. So I maybe 
subconsciously was like, I'm not taking a picture of this look, but it was, it was a decent eye look. It just wasn't my favorite. Like I try, I tried something bold and it didn't work out so hot. And the shimmers in this palette also seem to kind of have a flip, like almost like duochrome but they're not duochrome and the video from that girl Shay, you'll see, she talks about it a little bit too. They just kind of, they don't like shift necessarily, but they do appear to shift. Like I said, this purple, when you start to blend it out, it has kind of this like ready undertone to it. Um, like maybe that's its base shade. And that's why I put the red with it. So that's where I would say like it kind of shifts or has this duochrome effect to it. This green looks gold to olive in your eye looks. Um, this, this copper silver, <laughs> this copper gold one here looks very like yellow gold to copper gold, almost rose goldy in an eye look. I don't know. I, I this shade looks very taupe. If it's just that one shade on the lid, it looks very taupe, but starts with a really light, like champagne -y color out to a taupe color. I don't know. They're just weird. They're not duochromatic, but they definitely shift a little bit in the light. What I would say too, is because of the pigmentation in this palette, you can get color on your blush, on your blush color on your brush and that might be all the color that you need. You don't have to continue to go in and dip in and dip in and dip in like some shadows you might have to do. Like a little tiny dip in the pan will do your whole eye look in that one color if you need it to. Like this purple on my eye look right now, that's one dip in the pan one time. I, I got it a little bit more in the center of the purple with my finger because as I was blending the red in, it kind of like shifted away. But other than that, like it's one dip in the pan, one dip in the pan, it's all over my eyelid. Uh, what I would say though, is that this does have quite a bit of fallout. There's quite a bit of fallout with this palette. But fallout doesn't make or break my decision on whether I'm going to like a palette or not. I actually like palettes that have fallout, I find that they um, actually are much better with pigmentation, with stay power, with all that. A lot of palettes that have fallout, I get along with quite well as far as longevity goes for sure. The worst offenders are all the shimmers in here. I think there's micro glitters in there and you do get that glitter all over your face. Uh, the packaging on it is beautiful. The brush, the one thing I love Sigma palettes for is that they do have a brush that comes with their palettes, but their brush is comprised of two brushes that are actually part of their collection. So they're not making this crap dual ended brush to stick into the palettes as a uh, free throw in like, and their brushes are good brushes. So th this does have the two year warranty on it that their brushes always have. And it has your E54 medium sweeper on one side, which is a phenomenal brush. And then the E38 diffused crease on the other, which is also a phenomenal brush. This is not a crap brush. This is not a brush in a palette that you're going to want to toss in the trash can. This one is actually an amazing brush. And like I said, comes with that two year warranty that all Sigma brushes come with. So that in and of itself is a perk that in and of itself makes this palette worth $49. Because not only are you getting a kick ass palette, but you're also getting two Sigma brushes that are amazing brushes. I was going to tell you guys too that all of the shades in this palette, all of them, including the shimmer shades that have the glitter in them, feel super buttery to the touch. So they're not like creamy and they do have a little bit of kick up in the pan, but they're so, so silky smooth. So let's do some swatches. So these are the first four here. We do have this guy here, which is called Docile. It is just a buttermilk beige matte. And then we have this one, which is the ivory shimmer. It kind of looks rose, um, kind of 
has this like flip to like almost a taupey color on an eye look. It is such a beautiful shade. It is in a lot of my brow bones and inner corners. Today it's not, but today I actually have docile in my brow bone and I don't have anything in my inner corner, I don't think. This shade is called Spirit. And then we have this one here, which is called Feral. It is like a rich ochre. It looks very terracotta in an eye look. And then we have this one here, which has a little bit of that feral on it accidentally. Sorry about that. This one is called Envy. It's an olive green metallic. It does have a little bit of flip from almost like a gold to an olive green in an eye look. And I think you can kind of see that in the swatch, actually. Okay, and the last three in that row are these three. We have Hustle, which is a gold metallic that is almost more like a rosy copper tone and then we have this one here which is called moxie which is kind of like a pinky lavender metallic although i think it's a lot more sheeny almost like satin than it is metallic and then we have this one here which is called Loyal and it is a like a Sienna brown matte. It's a really pretty taupey brown. That's that first row of shades in that palette. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can you see the flips in the colors? Probably not, right? Because swatches don't typically do any kind of justice to, I don't know, do you guys like the swatches? I don't know that swatches actually do anything for many people. These are the first four shades in the second row. So the first one we have here is this one. This is Wicked. This is the black matte in this palette. And this guy actually builds up quite, quite well. But it also doesn't take much to, like, totally take over your eye look. There is a black-blue eye look that I did that you guys will see a picture of <laughs> that looks like that because, man, this black just went everywhere so there's that then there is this which is called instinct and it is just a mauve cool tone mauve matte really beautiful color these two together are actually so so pretty then we have this one called rebel it is just a brick red matte and then we have that one there which is called camouflage it is just a forest green camouflage matte all right, these are the last three shades in the palette. We have Boho, which is a mustard matte. And then we have the purple that's in my eye look today. Isn't that stunning? This one is called Fierce. It is a light amethyst shimmer. This one does have that flip um, to red as you start to blend it out. And then we have the blue, which I'm running out. I've, I swatched those really stupid. But that's the blue in the palette and this is just a cobalt metallic because I swatched that one so stupid. I'm going to double dip in that. Look at that cobalt. It's the second row of shades in the palette. What I would say about this palette is, you know, I'm, I'm true tea, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. I do love it. I do love it. I love these like grungy tones. I love these. I love this palette and I really do like Sigma as a brand. I just don't know that I've had enough time with the palette to really digest the color story and figure out what to do with the color story. I would say if you're not a super color creative person, this is probably not going to be a palette that you agree with or that you find yourself picking up very often. I, I will continue to, you know, pick it up. Maybe it'll go into my shop, my stash next time. I'm just not sure. Um, it is a very fall oriented palette. I can see me pulling for this a lot in the fall, like I do with subculture. Um, and that's when I picked it up last, you know, was in the fall. I, I just didn't, I don't know that it's, I didn't have fun with it. I did have fun with it, but I, I'm just not creative enough to look at that color story and not have to think about it, if that makes any sense. So I will keep the palette, obviously. I love the palette. It is a great palette in my collection. I think it's very unique to my collection, even though it's very subculture-esque. It's a totally different color story. So, and man, the, the shadows in this palette, like this, this, 
shade right here, this purple one, is so, so pretty. And, like, both of these shimmers up here are just beautiful. This is probably my favorite, like, brow bone highlight as of late. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. So, obviously, it's, it's going to be sticking around. It's not going anywhere, but I'm kind of happy to not have to bring it into next week with me because I... I don't, I think I'm just in the mood for spring palettes, right? And I do have a video coming soon that I recorded weeks ago regarding spring palettes. So don't think that that's me copying anybody that's out here right now doing top 10 spring palettes because I think I've seen three videos today on top 10 spring palettes and that's what my video is promise you I recorded it weeks ago. For those of you that don't know, I pre-record quite a bit, except for my series on my channel. So I did rec I recorded it way before these people did, or maybe not, but way before I knew these people were. So there's that. Um, so also for those of you who don't know, we do use a decision wheel app that I picked up from my Play Store. I do have a Samsung Note 9 in order to pick a new palette. I do have all of my palettes in this app and we just spin the wheel utilizing this blue button and it picks a new palette for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and we're going to find out what palette we'll be using next week. It is the ABH Riviera palette. That's funny. I think I was just talking about this palette in my ranking, my ABH palettes. It's an ABH palette that I got that I wasn't going to get, but I got through Beautylish and um, I wasn't even going to pick it up. And I haven't used it yet. So I'm, I'm kind of excited because it kind of digs into that springtime look that I was just looking at. So I will go get that palette. I'll be right back. All right. This is the Riviera palette. This one does not have the same kind of cover that most other ABH palettes have on it. But this is the color story. So I'm actually really excited um, because I haven't used this palette yet. And it's very spring. So... I am super excited to come back in a, in a week and let you guys know my experiences with this palette. And with that, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It does help our channels out here. I also hope you're considering subscribing to my channel before you go. I'd love to have you along and welcome you into my wonderful YouTube fam here. If you're interested in seeing more videos from me, there will be one at the end here that will populate and give you an idea of when to go to. I hope that you enjoy that one too. I hope that you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. And with that, like, just stay safe out there, cookies. Stay healthy. Love each other, but love each other from afar. And until next time, friends, bye.